been standing here watching this house being built and pondering one of life's greatest mysteries. Why do men have nipples? They don't seem to serve any purpose. The reason women have them is obvious enough, but men's nipples? Well, they can be fun to decorate. They look good in a bathing suit. And without them, men might suffer from nipple envy. But to get the real answer to why men have nipples, we have to return to the womb. Before any of us reach the size of a clenched fist, all of our essential body parts have formed. We look much like we will months later when we're born. But if you looked really close, you'd notice one difference. We're all female. To understand why, it would help to know a little bit about how a human being is built. And this, believe it or not, is similar to how a house is built. Well, sort of. If you were in the business of building houses, what sort of houses would you build? It's a tough question, because people's tastes are so different. Some people want one bathroom, others want two. Some want bay windows, others want regular windows. The possibilities are endless. You could solve the problem by building everybody their own custom-designed house, but few could afford such a luxury. So, what do you do? Well, you proceed to build a house, but you make sure you've designed it so that the hole you leave in the living room wall can easily accept either a normal window or a bay window. You make sure you install a bit of extra plumbing so you can easily put in a second bathroom. You come up with one generic design that, with a few minor adjustments, has the capability to miraculously transform from one model into another. It's much more efficient than drawing up a different plan for each and every house. By mass producing these houses, you can appeal to people's very tastes, as well as their pocketbooks. Humans, like houses, also come in more than one model. But it would be biologically expensive to design and build each one. And you are, and therefore we can Mother Nature out. solves this problem the same way the house builder does, by designing one generic model that can be easily modified. As you can see, it's sitting this generic model it. happens to be <laughs> female. The main thing that prevents us all from being born female is the male hormone testosterone. A Y chromosome from dad carries the instructions to manufacture testosterone. Testosterone activates male characteristics and suppresses the development of female characteristics. But testosterone is not produced until about the ninth week after conception. By this time, the nipples have already formed. This is kind of like a nipple. It's part of the plumbing that was installed for an optional bathroom. The nipples of young boys and girls are like the plumbing of an unfinished bathroom. They sit dormant. But at puberty, women take advantage of the plumbing and undergo renovations. Puberty gives women the tools they need to develop breasts. The main tool is a surge of estrogen. It's this female hormone that causes the breasts to develop. But men don't have this tool. That's why they can't finish the job. It's why their nipples remain dormant. But all the plumbing is still there. That's why if men were given estrogen, they'd grow breasts. So, back to the question. Why do men have nipples? Well, it all comes down to Mother Nature being efficient. Men have nipples simply because women need them.
next time on Inquiring Minds, why men lose their hair, why leaves change color in the fall, and why it's so difficult to make counterfeit money. Share research tips with winners of the annual Science and Technology Awards in the Winning Edge on Sunday night at 9.30. But in the meantime, Earth Visions takes a look at the Eagles.